I figured since we did this, I'm sure everybody else is doing this. So we'll show how we repack an unrepackable front hub assembly. This is pressing the hub apart by supporting it off its ears. Of course, it was half ripped apart already. We're out of height, aren't we? Yep. We're out of height. Put in some more. Is that half? The ring is ABS. Uh, what do you mean the sensor and see if it hits? Well, that's that taper. It's slow. Okay? So, we want to make sure that when the sensor is in there, it doesn't touch. Which is why they have that thing. In there. I mean, we're going to have to press this out in order to clean and pack that bearing. Right, right. I know, but I'm worried about, see, we had ours flush, which means we may have to tear ours apart again. I mean, it's a magnetic pickup, like a lawnmower. My gut still says that it'll work, but it's, it's too precise. Um... Figure this is the video we wanted to see before we started this mess. It just pulls out. It's got an O-ring. There's an O-ring and a backer O-ring on it. So let's see. What so the doing. teeth are. See, but they aren't in the center of that hole either. No, but what I'm afraid is that if we put it into this one. right I mean there's no way to because of the dirt we got down inside of this there's no way that we can take this apart without pulling that ring off now when the other one split did it rip this side out yeah I think it ripped this no no it tore the did we press that side out? because this was bolted in it pulled this side out okay you can't park the same way so all we do now is just set it on there and take that side down, but it looks like, I mean, there's a chance your anti-lock brakes aren't going to work anymore. Okay. Okay. All right, well, if it's that or a thousand dollars right now, I'll, uh, well, I'll gonna, pump it. It isn't going to, it, it isn't going to save you any money, whether we do it today or next yeah. month, right? Yeah. So. Be a lot of night. <laughs> clean, 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 clean. Never clean enough. Hey, the ring stayed on there. Huh? It's better than last time. Well, then I'll just be really careful. I mean, the bearings look brand new. You'd or never know. They have 70,000 miles. 153,000. So, clean, 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 clean.
I need it. What I need is a Q-tip. Nope, that's too thick. Because there's a lip on that seal right there. So we need a little grease. And that's the one you don't think we got greased in the last I one? I know we didn't get greased in the last one on this one. You think it'll push it out? Probably. And this is probably more grease than it really needs. Just hedging your bets? Yeah. and on the face of them, right along in that area. So then when we put it together, the factory grease were on my wheel bearings. I swear it was put all in the spray paint again. Didn't make 30,000 miles, they were shot, all of them. It's amazing, I repack them and they last 90,000 miles. I wonder why. Has anything to do with the amount of grease I use? Well, I was just going to have you do it with your finger. Just coat all the races so we don't put it in dry. This side, this front side. That's the side we're putting in next. Just so that we don't have any extra coat. Okay, so it's not dry. All right. Cool. That's just so they're not dry. Well, the last time we were putting it together the other way around or something. I know we got as much grease as the factory got in. Oh, we got more grease than the factory got we got enough grease on one side to equal a factory's complete grease. But everybody's got to get dirty to do this. Okay. This one I got change it. I'm sorry. The idea is to go between each roller because that's where the cavity is in, that's where the cavity goes up inside. Um, That's about four times the amount of grease that... What about using that needle and injecting grease through the sensor hole on Let's that one? one? Down through here. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Try to make up for how little we put in it. Well, this may be too much. It may try to push this stuff out. last time? I believe we used that last time. Okay.
500. I remember it took quite a bit to seat the last one. Well, it's still moving, whatever it's doing. It took a lot to seat the last one. You can see the seals going down inside. I can't hardly turn it. Because you gotta. We decided these are machined, right? Mm -hmm. So that bearings are tensioned. Once, the, once they meet. Yeah, now the pressure is shooting up. Yeah, it, it all of a sudden the pressure just shoots up. That's about two tons of pressure. That's probably enough. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we don't have the, the uh, seal in down here yet. Yeah, can you keep rotating it? Okay. So all I'm doing is levering the seal up inside. Right. On the seal. <laughs> well, screw them. Yeah. It isn't turning. Okay. Well, that's. Different than the last one, then. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened? the seal up in there too far. Well, but it was locked before and it was all the way down. No, I mean, I can see a gap right there. That gap that we've left inside there. That that gap right down in there shouldn't be there. Again, off to oh, yeah. Give you more material to work with. No. I'll show them that we screwed it up. Okay, hold on. I just want to see if that Can you hold the upper part? So it didn't, it didn't change at all. Mm -mm. Did it move at all? I'm not sure it did, no. We weren't up that high pressure. Okay. There it oh, back it off one sec. I want to see if it. Yeah, that's going to free it up. Huh. You feel anything at all? Mm -mm. What? No, just push it together. You think it'll loosen up on the truck? Hmm? You think it'll loosen up on the truck? What'll loosen up? That this will start coming back apart? No, 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 no. No, it can't come apart. Because um, it's, this is against the, the axle is against this, and you're pulling it together with a big bolt. It just locks up tight right there. You think we're down? No. Just trying to imagine if it had a tire on it. Mm -hmm. That well, would still be fairly right. easy to turn. Well, very easy tire with on the it. leverage of a tire. So yeah, it's just not as easy as that one is. Oh, well, now you got me concerned. This one's too loose. 
it's going to tighten up. There's nothing we can do. There, it's, it's factory preset. It's all factory preset. Yeah, well, we kind of messed with that. No, we didn't. Unless we change the bearings or something like that. Okay? And we didn't do that. Okay, so what I did last time is I just took it and I twisted it. Mm -hmm. And it rocked up. And I went all the way around it. And that's how I put the bearing or the seal in this one here. I think you did this to it. You know, what I'm trying to do is keep it so that this edge of the screwdriver is against it like that. And then I lever it up like this. If you go like this, you see, it's real easy to I get it. I pushed it in too far on this you one. Push it in too far. Yeah. And most seals have got stops so that you can't so that you can't do that. But since these are put together in a factory. Actually it's turning much easier now. Scrape off the excess grease and you can you can see if it's sticking down at all. Oop. Since we're not supposed to take them apart. We don't have the instructions. Oh, you're right. That did get... It got much freer once the seal got pushed up. So the seal is not being right. It's not dragging extra hard. Huh? That's dang near as free as that one is. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, it just needed time to work in, I guess. Well, see, the grease coming out that hole is what I don't like to see. It means we got too much in there. We may have a little too much. Let's go all the way around. And I'll take a little more out. But we've done what we can do. We've done all the damage we can do. just needs a few little minor tweaks to make it really nice. Well, I know Harbor Freight sells a, One just a like sliding this. beam, but yeah. it isn't nearly this big. No. I've looked at it once or twice. Um, Jesse bought one from the press right after I got this one. Maybe I'll have to ask him how he likes it. Surprised how often I use your old one now that I have it. Yeah, it's the thing, is it? Well, that's all those old things I used to do in the vice, but mm -hmm. it's just so much easier and so much safer. You have control, finesse. Whoa, there goes the pressure. Okay, I put that up there real high. Looks like it's seated.